Hello guys, my name is Madison Gwines and this is me. I am 18 years old and I graduated from Tech High, Washington County Technical High School from the Early Childhood Program. I have three siblings and we are a crazy wild bunch if you can see from this picture. But here is a nicer one so that you can see all of our faces. My older brother is in the US Army he is 20 years old and he left us pretty quick in February. It uh, wasn't supposed to happen the way that it did. Uh, and it's been very hard since of, or because of Corona that we have not been able to see him. Normally you are able to see them graduate and you can go visit them. And we haven't seen either of his graduations. So it's been pretty hard on him and on us. This is my younger sister. She is 17 and she goes to a Barbara Ingram School for the Arts for the Technical Theater Program. And this is my youngest brother. He is six years old and he just chills around the house. I think these are some pretty cool facts about me. Uh, I have four grandparents. You can see three of them pictured in this picture. And I still have six of my great grandparents. Um, two of them are pictured in this picture, but the other four live down in Texas, so I don't see them a lot. But it's not very rare that you have your great-grandparents still around, so I'm very thankful that I still have mine. I work at McDonald's, and I just recently got promoted to a crew trainer, which is one spot below manager. This lady pictured with me is my journal manager. I love my job. I love working there. It's been super fun. I love taking pictures with all my coworkers, and it's always a great time there, so I love working at McDonald's. Besides McDonald's, I love babysitting. I will get the, any chance I can, I would love to be with kids. And so I babysit anyone that I can on the side of McDonald's just to make a few extra money and just to see children. I also love taking photos. Um, I'm not like a photographer. I don't have a fancy camera or anything. I just use my phone camera, but any chance that I can, I'll just take pictures and pictures and it just makes me so happy. I do have a dog. He's an English bulldog and he is five years old. He um, does not like his pictures taken a lot, so it's very hard to get a good picture of him. His name is JJ from JJ Watt on the Texans football team. My dad named him that, <laughs> so, but he's a very sweet dog. He loves to just get up in chairs anywhere that he can. He thinks that he's a person sitting in a chair. So, and he's very funny. He's a great personality for a dog, I guess. This may seem, seem weird, but I also have two hermit crabs. This hermit crab pictured, his name is Hey Hey, and I have had him for three years now. And the other one that I have, his name is Destin, and I've had him for one year. This is my great grandparents pug. She is 16 years old, which is 80 years old for small dogs in human years. And I count her as my own dog. I grew up with her and she is so sweet. I am going to school to major in um, early childhood profession teaching. I want to be a kindergarten teacher and I also want to get my degree in special education. I have always loved teaching. Ever since I could remember, I've wanted to be a teacher. Um, there's actually been one time where one of my teachers told me that I did not want to be a teacher because it's just too much work and I was thinking for a few years I was like well what else do I want to do with you know my life and then one of my teachers later in life you know in high school told me that you know do whatever you want be what you want to be and I was like I want to be a teacher so that's when I went to tech high and now I'm here in college majoring to be an early childhood teacher. The one sport that I did in high school was unified track. If you don't know what unified sports are, they are where you are on a team with the special needs kids so that they can be a part of playing sports as well. Um, this was another reason why I did it is because, you know, I said I wanted to be a special education teacher and to work with the um, special needs kids. So this was a great practice for me to um, get into working with them and to really know that that's what I want to do and I want to help them and work with them in my life as well. I just realized that I did not show you what my parents look like. So this is my mom and dad. They are really great people. My dad owns his own business and my mom just helps around the house, you know, not helps, she works around the house and takes care of us children. And I'm so thankful for them and I love them with all my heart. Here is me now. I am just here to explain that um, 
I became enrolled in this class because it is one of the credits that I need to um, continue on in college. I am doing HCC for two years and then I'm hoping to, or hoping to transfer to another university. Um, my family is thinking of moving down south to North Carolina. So I've been looking at um, colleges and universities down here in North Carolina. I have not decided on which one yet, I'm still thinking. So I'm doing HCC to get all of my basic classes out of the way and my basic credits that I need. And then once I transfer to the university, I will um, just have to major in early childhood and get my degree and practice in that. Um, what I hope to gain from this class is I just hope that I learn how to write good because with being an early childhood teacher, I, you need to have great handwriting and you need to just learn how to write really good so that when you write to parents and you write um, up worksheets and stuff, you're not just, you know, not knowing what you're doing. So I hope this English class helps me to learn to do all that and helps me learn with my good um, public speaking so that I can speak good with parents and um, conferences that I need. So that's just a little bit about me. I thought that it would be cool to show you guys the pictures so that you could see and vision, you know, whatever I told you guys and what I was saying. So I'm excited for this class and I'm excited for this semester and I'm excited to meet you all.